Hey everyone, welcome to part 19 of the Metal Gear Recollection. It's a recollection, um, not a reclamation or a revengeance. Of the Metal Gear Inquisition. <laughs> <laughs> Here to purge all non-Metal Gear believers. Anyways, but yeah, we've gotten through the part and now we're going on to the finale of the game. Uh, in terms of gameplay anyways. So I hope you are all ready. I certainly am not. You're not prepared. My body is not ready. Your body is not ready. Technically, her body isn't either, but that's not going to stop her, so don't let it stop you, asshole. Didn't she just get, like, impaled? Yeah. She's going to get impaled later, too, if you know what I'm saying. <sighs> I'm really sorry. <laughs> we made it. Made it. What a cool fucking video game sequence, huh? Yeah, not bad. And here we are on this pristine lake with these pristine trees. And he's just like, uh, and she's just like, no. The look on her face is genuinely sad there. Did you see that? It's not so yep. much here, but when you saw her framed in the other. Yep. It's a, it was a little easier to see once you zoomed in like that. So look at this badass leg. Oh, lake. now she can run. Yeah, now she's fine. That's okay. Because, you know, massive internal hemorrhaging. All you got to do is walk it off, right? Right. It's all it takes. Whoa. Where are we? And a, a nuclear explosion just went off. The fuck? So the other, Davy, Cro the other Davy Crockett just went off. Uh, yes, huh. that is in fact what it is. Cause... So he's not been irradiated once, he's been irradiated twice. Well, at this point he's been irradiated three times, because he was irradiated in the Bikini Atoll tests as well. Oh. And he, and he, he was um, unique in that he was one of the people who didn't get, like, super cancer from it. Super cancer. Um, so she just blew up, she just blew up the, uh, the, 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 uh, base we just spent all that time running through. Mm-hmm. Why couldn't she have done that earlier? Um, because they had to find the Philosopher's Legacy. Which, I'm kind of spoiling the end, so I'm not going to say too much more. But, um, here she's going to lay it all, all out on the table. She's going to lay it all right out. Mm. All on the table! You're going to learn everything she wants you to know. <clears throat> about herself. Mm -hmm. Cutscene. Uh, here a train. So do you live in planes, trains, and automobiles? Pretty much. It's quite annoying sometimes. So her question to Snake at the very end of the, or at the very beginning of the game is, who are you loyal to? What are you loyal to? What ideology do you stand for? What what will you fight for? And at this point, she's explaining her motivations and her fight. Yep. And it's very, very interesting, her ideas. Because she's basically saying, and I think I'm quoting her here, there is no such thing as an absolute timeless enemy. Mm. Which is very much true. So all these people laying their lives on the line for the Cold War and living and dying and dealing with this situation, at some point in time, that's not going to mean anything. True. Very true. So she's asking, what is it, what is it all for? Who is it all for? And what it and she's deciding what she wants to fight for. And in her case, she wants to make the world whole again. And that premise, that idea, is going to drive a lot of the major players in the next several games. Um, and leads to the uh, leads to the events of the later games. It leads to the the a ridiculous conclusion. Uh, towards the end and it was pretty much everything was kind of well-intentioned and everybody kind of went about it in a fucked up way And you'll see what I mean once we get to it But in the meantime, let's not take away the moment from this from this person right here. She had a hysterectomy What <laughs> she had a hysterectomy because she can't have kids anymore. No, she was irradiated. She's was sterile She's a hysterectomy. It was November 1st 1951 
participating in atomic So pretty much every main character in these games is sterile in some way. The name Navarro and completely insane. Covered in snow. The main characters? Yeah. No, they're either sterile in some way, except for the exception of one later on down the line. They're either completely sterile or in some way unable to leave a legacy through their children. Um, and so a lot of the themes surrounding these people is how they will leave a legacy or whether or not they want to leave a legacy. On Bikini Atoll. Hey, Bikini Atoll. Yep. Part of the reason That's where uh, a snake was irradiated for the first time in the Bikini Atoll testing. We're both Gotta protect your nuts. Yeah, uh, I mean, you can put a helmet over it we'll when you sit there and look at the nuclear blast, but that not probably won't help you. No. no or you could wear, like, a metal lead diaper. We can still have hope. You could absolutely do that, but I have a feeling the pervasiveness of a nuclear event is going to get around that. <laughs> Three years earlier, the Soviet Union so, Sputnik. At this point, we we learned that she was part of the um, part of the space race, and she was the first. I think they say she was the first person in space. So she she sees the Earth as one. She sees the Earth as one entity, and she understands at that point that the Earth needs to be together. It needs to be made one. And people later on will twist her ideology and her version of the perfect world into some really perverse stuff. And especially in the next two games, you're going to run into some stuff like that. Which, um, yeah, I won't go into much more than that, but yeah. Mm. So who do you think wins the fight? Of? This one. That we're I already know. You know who it is? Yes. That's right. The Karotans win the fight. Uh huh. All eighty of those little little frog dolls come out of nowhere and, and hug everybody until everybody's happy. And the end. it's not actually eighty; it's like sixty-four. Uh, I don't want to even want. I don't even want to think about it. The fact that there's one of those in that 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 chase scene where if you don't shoot it, you just miss it. That's rough. <sighs> Oh my god. I mean, granted, you can just, you know, save before it happens and reload the save, but... That's... That's... Oof. But if, she, if you look at what she's talking about, she's looking at the bigger picture. She's saying that this, this, this Cold War is just meaningless competition. That's all it is, is meaningless competition. To arrive at the same conclusion. So she's thinking... She's thinking with, with a much bigger picture than even the politicians of the time are doing and I'm not you know accusing the politicians of being infallible of any time whatsoever god no but yeah her ideology here is just like this is what she fights for she fights for her beliefs this is what she's telling snake and the entire the entire game <clears throat> is is snake becoming strong enough to be able to fight for his own beliefs as opposed to being led by the times um and his disillusionment with everything that goes on kind of leads to uh, a lot of the events later on in fact at least in most of, most of the events all i could do was watch in silence Look at these old men. A country of old men run by a country run by old men send their young to fight. Whatever. They're gonna go over. They go over so much about her in this ending bit here, and then they say, "Okay, you've learned so much about this character. Kill her. Kill her." And it's really, it's an extremely poetic, extremely. Oh man, maybe his body was there. Maybe we did miss his body, because there it is. We did, yeah. Because that area looked, that was that area where, we, where the stuff. There is no I told you he fell into the river. Yep. One must live, and one must die. Well, goddamn. Goddamn. Well, he didn't fall into the river. She killed his ass right by that river. No, she killed his ass on the cliff, and he fell down into the river and washed ashore. Oh, maybe. Shut up. You're not my dad. <laughs> You're not my dad. So this is interesting. They talk about the true holders of power in these countries. Who, who, who? 
the secret path they formed Wiseman's the committees they said China Russia or Soviet Union and yep. America China Soviet Union and America but they say the true holders of power which leads you to believe that you know the the the, the political system is all a ruse to an extent because these are the guys in control which leads me to believe like who could that possibly be certain politicians um philanthropists corporate uh, not even philanthropists corporate leaders um and that's pretty much all i can think of maybe maybe religious figures prominent religious figures of the time are part of this wiseman's committee part of the philosophers but these are the group group of people that basically set the the stage of events during world war ii each conflict sparks countless Maybe. others, forming an endless spiral that will continue on for eternity. The huh. amount of stuff she's talking about here. And notice all the all the guys slowly went away. And there she is. If you notice in the picture, that's a man and there's a little girl next to him. That's the boss and that's her father. Mm. Which she explains right here. He was one of the philosophers. He was one of them. You see... Little girl forced into all this, can't live her life, has to be in battle her entire existence, basically, because of this shit. Even the one kid she had gets drawn into this shit. Not good. In June of Can you think of any other game with a more fleshed out We've been given a, a, a better female character than this. Dark Souls. Bloodborne. I was pregnant no. <laughs> no, even with the awesome characterization that exists in those games, it's nothing like this. This is, they create a living, breathing human being in a video game. With this beautiful, tragic, poetic ideology and story, and here oh, she, shit. and here she is fighting the one person who could possibly match her. This is proof that I was hmm. once a man. Also, that's supposed to be a cesarean scar. I gave up my body and my Fuck <laughs> the shit out of it. Yeah, somebody didn't know what they were doing. Left me now. Um. So she mentioned she had a child that was snatched away. I don't believe. That they ever, in the lore, actually explain who her child is. Uh, do you remember earlier where I told you to pay attention to her interactions with Ocelot? Yes. That is because Ocelot is her child. You think so? No, he, he is her child. He is, the, he is the son of the boss. He's literally the son of the boss. Um, which explains a lot of stuff in 4... Um, and I can kind of go into it. So basically, he has this ultimate badass as a mother, and his father is a is a a uh, a psychic who can who can contact the dead, which to an extent explains some of the plot holes from some of the later games, um, in which Ocelot appears. And that's kind of a spoiler, but fuck you, you eat my dick. I'm, I'm, you didn't say which games. I've started drinking, so you can all shut up. <laughs> this game has driven him to drinking. This this ending here, I mean, this is this is probably one of the most emotionally charged, impactful moments that I've ever had in a video game. Because this is not a person. This is not a person you want to fight, and this is not a person you want to kill. Right. It really isn't. In ten minutes, MIGs will come and bomb the hell out of this place. Bomb. However, due to the times, we've been forced into this situation. And due to the people who are enemies at this particular point in time, etc. Which is what she's fighting and what she's rebelling against. You're a soldier. Finish your mission. Okay, I'm gonna finish my mission. Prove Trust me. Loyalty. Prove your loyalty. Face me. So here we oh, go. Fuck this up. Here is the the boss fight. She's chasing you. I got her. Now shoot her in the head. No, I gotta punch her first. So no, in this one, in it's head. kind of it's kind of reminiscent to the Volgan fight. The best thing to do is she is going to try and CQC you. 
She is going thunder to day. do. Oh. Don't forget the thunder. No, 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 no! Shit! 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 There we go. Shit! Oh! Okay. I. Whenever I fight her, I have yet to be able to. Ah, shit! 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 I've never been. I have yet to be able to find a way to actually. Um. What's the word I'm looking for? Counter seat. You see her. Uh, yes, that is correct. So you are forced to use the uh, you are forced to use the old camera in this fight. So this is what the old camera used to look like. Yep. Now shoot her in the head twice. Okay. Well, I could do Never. that, but actually punching her there and then knocking her down to the ground is uh, part of the boss fight. Or it's not part of the boss fight, but it helps me take her out. Which, as you notice, I'm taking her out non-lethally, and there's a very specific reason for that. Yes. Where did she go? There she is. Try, I was going to say try healing yourself while she's gone. I really need to change my camo, so I should do both of those things. Cure the yes. gunshot wound, knife, bandage, stip dis stip dick disinfectment, and a broken bone, because she broke my bone. Let me just split and bandage this, which, if you think about it, is ridiculous that I'm doing that in the middle of, a, of combat. Mm -hmm. So here we go. I want to reduce the amount of damage I take, so I am, in fact, going to equip the sneaking suit. <clears throat> So fucking overpowered, I love it. Uh, camouflage, backpack, food, cure. Okay, I've got everything I need. Let's take the... Don't forget that life medicine. Uh, I still have it equipped. Okay. Okay, she... Doesn't see you, but she has an idea. Oh, shit. I've got it! No, oh, shit! Uh... Okay. Uh, you pretty much... I mean, it's not really button mashing, but you have to, you have to do a lot of... Uh, stuff to get shit. I am getting fucked up by this bitch. Oh The CQC in this particular section is very specific The things that you have to do in order to fight her. Oh, where's the ammo? Oh shit. There she is. Okay Fuck So now up. that I've knocked her the easiest way to get her which is what I'm doing here is to once you once you actually uh, are able to get um, get one over on her in the middle of a CQC thing is hit her with a with a with a, 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 a punch kick combo, mm -hmm. the basic punch kick combo, which will knock her down to the ground and give you an opportunity to hit her with the uh, hit her with a tranquilizer dart. So she broke both of your arms. She did, in fact, break both of my arms. She goes. She's behind that. Oh shit. Damn it. Come on, get up, get up, get up. There we go. Hey, not bad. It is still the pretty bad. The Mosina God doesn't do more damage, does it? I, I don't think it does, and I also think that would be a little too uh, difficult to wield in this situation. While mm. I'm here, I'm going to do something. Because there are these snakes here, and I want to show this off. Um, which in this case is actually foreshadowing. Careful. You're right. I should be paying attention to her. Oh, shit. She found you. She found me, but where is she? She's up there. Mm -hmm. I know she's there. There she is. See her? Yep. Where are you hiding? Where are you hiding? Now would be a good time to get those snakes. Man, I wish I had the new... What's the word I'm looking for? Oh, she's firing at me. She knows where you're at. Oh, shit. There she is. <laughs> Got her. Hey. The ability to look over the... She's coming. She's firing at me. Well, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find the other ones, but let's take a look at that snake there. Did you pick it up? I did. Where is it? I don't think you picked it up. No, I had to have picked it up. Son of a bitch, did I pick it up? No, I had to have picked it up. There's no way I didn't pick it up. Um... So I guess I'll just talk about it. In a bit of foreshadowing, if this is the first game you've ever played, um, you get... Ooh. Come on! There we go. Shit! Okay. 
If you if you go into a grab after that after that that situation, there we go. This is what I want because then I can hit her. Basically, if you go into a grab with her, she will be able to counter you every time. However, if you're able to manage to uh, catch her. Come on. There we go. Now I get a... Shit! I'm not hitting that fucking button! I'm doing the punch, you fucking bitch! Oh. God damn it. I'm gonna get my ass handed to me here. <laughs> Fuck that bitch. Well, the Keep whole running. thing... The whole thing is, every time you go into a grab with her, she is able to weasel out of the grab and break a bone in your body. Yep. So the idea is to get her into a state of, of partial stun lock where you can punch her, at which point you can shoot her. Hang on. Right. <laughs> Ow, that hurt. Don't die. Oh, that hurt a lot. Oh. Oh, I hate dying on stream. Oh, we gotta get out of it. Nope, we weren't able to get out of it. Oh, she broke it. She ripped... Oh, she threw all the uh, stuff apart. I've never seen her actually do that before. It was very interesting. I need to cure myself. Bandage, suture, styptic, disinfectant. Then up here is a broken bone. She broke one of my damn ribs, girl. Damn. Notice the caratan up there? She, she can't, can't see. see. Then again, neither can I, because I've sit there and stared directly at the... I hope you guys like... Oh, shit, she's firing at me. Where is she? Balls. There she is. Is she coming up on me? Yeah, she is. No, fucking goddammit. This is a very tough fight. Yeah, it's very... Well, even on, like, normal it is. There we go. We got her down. We got her very close. Actually, we got her there. So yep. now I have grabbed the See? snake uniform, which I will switch over to. Ah, uh, camouflage. Uniform. Snake. Snake. Now let's take a look at this. Snake pattern camo uniform. Provides the ultimate cover in any environment. Basically, it's not quite a cheat, because it doesn't provide perfect camouflage, but it provides an average uh, good camouflage in any environment. So basically, if you're sick and tired of going into your, uh, if you're sick and tired of going into your, <coughs> oh wait, she's dead already, I got her. If you're sick and tired of going into your inventory every two minutes to grab stuff, that's what you do. Uh, you use that. And it's actually, it's pretty good camouflage. It, it helps in a lot of situations. Oh yeah. Because even in certain areas, you have to go between a lot of you have to go between a lot of different camouflages. So she has now given me the philosopher's legacy. She has handed a hundred billion dollars to me, which Snake would probably turn into his government, except that it disappears. Oh shit! Oh shit! Fuck! Does I, it? I does it disappear? It up. She gave me the Patriot. Which is not a real gun, by the way. Yeah, no way. They do make them short like that, and they do have full auto, but they don't twist the goddamn rounds in the air. Like we saw in, what, part three or two or three? Three, I think. Three, no, probably. part. I think that was part four. I could be mm -hmm. wrong. Um. <coughs> so here yeah, we ready. are. We've won. Are we happy also, about this? Yeah. Should we feel happy about this? No. Even with our dumbass, stupid, ridiculously inane. So you actually have to push the button here on right? all of this. Yes, you should have extremely mixed feelings about this. And this is gonna sit like this until I actually fire the weapon myself. You or... are forced to kill this woman. It's not a cutscene. It's not, hey, you won the boss battle. It's you're pointing this weapon at a defeated woman in order to pull the trigger like so. You might want to do it soon because Migs will come and bomb it. I'm trying. It won't It won't let me. I'm sure it won't. Really? It it'll won't? Be, 
It won't let me. I'm hitting all the buttons. That'd be funny. What nowadays. the fuck? Okay, there it is. That totally ruined the goddamn moment. <laughs> I was jamming on the X button. You could, you'll, it, the, my fucking microphone picked it up, I promise you. Get ready to hold R1, by the way. Or okay. The shoulder button. I'm holding it. Not yet. I'm holding it. I'm still Not holding yet. it. Not yet. I'm pressing You'll it. You'll ruin it. I'm, really? Yeah. Very well. Is it here? Nope. I wonder if that number 19177 has any uh, uh, significance. Probably not. Is it here? Where's the horse? Wait for the horse. The horse? Oh my. The horse! Here's the horse. I'm looking yeah. at the horse. I'm hitting and... the button. It's not working. Hold on. Okay. This is a hell Hold of, our one now. This is a hell of a moment. Now. I'm holding it. Oh, wow. That's something. Yeah. That says a lot, too. Also, the fact that somehow her, her scar is slithering away has become a snake. Oh, I didn't finish talking about the snakes. Or did I? Did I talk? Nope. I didn't finish talking about the snakes. Okay, there are three snakes you can get in this area and it's a bit of foreshadowing if this is the first game that you've come into but the two snakes are called solid or the three snakes are called solid liquid and solidus bum 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 what a twist man this is even now in the middle of a of a, of a, of a let's play of a friggin playthrough where this is just the beginning of the entire series pretty much that just this is a very powerful moment. This is a good touch. Even I mean, even in in the situation where I'm in, where I can't hear it, there's no audio for me. I'm talking to a dude three states away through Skype on one PC while monitoring how <laughs> fucked up or not fucked up the quality of this recording is on another PC. It's still like wow, that's. Uh, Ready to go, snake. Like if it, if. How do I put it? It feels like you did a bad thing. Yeah. It def it feels like you did a bad thing when it comes. Feels to and shit. looks like you did a bad thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like it. It feels like you. You should wish that there was a better answer than having to kill this person. I think my cat is eating my blinds, Barry. <laughs> All right, you little shit. What are you doing? I will fuck you up. Yeah, his but cat's name is Barry White. Barry White, the dead singer. Kitty cat. Kitty singer kitty. Hello. Hey, girl. <clears throat> so we have succeeded in our mission, except for the fact that another nuke went off. Oh, he takes the shit off. Yes, bruh. he does. Did Ocelot do that with a with a pistol? <clears throat> oh. Like what? Shit! This is so. This is an interesting bit of end stuff. That's that came off weird. I didn't say that right. God damn it! Have you seen the secret theater for this? The secret theater for this. Yeah. What do you mean? It's kind of like a blooper. Yeah, 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 you showed it to me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything yet, but after this, this is over. Can't believe he fucked up the damn thing so much. This part, he's like, look, here's your M63. It's gone. All your shit. All your shit. Look at the, look at the splash that thing made. That thing had to have weighed 300 pounds with all the stuff that was in there. Now, the yep. interesting part is obviously at this point, Snake is tired. He's emotionally drained. He is just, he is not ready for this. Yeah, he just killed his mentor, probably, possibly what could be his mother. And no, no, it's, that's not his mother. No, I know. It, it, oh, well, mother Ocelot's figure. mother. Yep. Yeah, kind of a mother figure, definitely more of a mentor. But at this point, Ocelot is going toe to toe with him. Which, with his ability to CQC, which he just displayed by beating the boss, I mean, granted, my playthrough wasn't exactly the best display of CQC, but the fact is, at this point, the fact that Ocelot can go with him means that he was hiding a bunch of 
power level. Like, we haven't even... Skill. It's we, not power level. It's skill. We haven't even seen his final form. Har, har, Try har, to remember har, har. some of the basics of CQC. See, in this... I mean, obviously, he's still thinking about his mentor. Half the next game is about him thinking about his mentor, and you still learn things about her, even, like, two games after this. Which is very interesting. <clears throat> Excuse me. But here we go. Now that now that he's now that he's kind of got his game face on, he's still kind of neck and neck with Ocelot, which shows that ge the not genetic. What's the word I'm looking for? Yeah, genetic. But uh, genetic inheritance of ability is a, is a big part of the later games in this story. <laughs> uh, genetic her inheritance is a big part of the uh, later games in this story, and the fact that he is in fact the son of a boss, or a s the son of the boss, the actual character, the fact that he is her son, in in this world anyways, leads to him having a, a, a higher level of skill and a higher level of ability than other people. Just because of the fact that it's inherited. In fact, so much of the later games is about how you inherit, um, basically the legacy passed on through your genes. It's a very, it's a very interesting part of the story, and the fact that we now see that he, he can kind of hold his own with this, this freak of a human being who pretty much just hate-murdered his way through all of Russia... <laughs> not, not all. You know what I mean. Shut, shut parts of Russia. Shut your goddamn mouth. I'll pee in you, your face. Shut up. You're not my dad. You're not my dad. None of the people in this plane is any people's dad yeah, at this right. point. I think Ocelot ends up being Snake's dad at some point. What? No, I'm just I'm just fucking with you, dude. You probably just pissed someone off. Yeah, somebody's like, fuck you. Did you know Sigint was Snake the whole time? Mm. Yeah. Paramedic was Rosie O'Donnell. Okay, so here we go. I want you, sir, to Me? use your your extreme supreme ability to pay attention, Google, um, to tell me <laughs> which one. Has, shut up! No, shut up! Which one has the damn thing? Tell me. I've always told you the right tell one. Tell me, Tony. Which one is it? There's one bullet. Uh -huh. I need to be able to shoot this shitty, stupid kid in the butt mouth face. What's I'm looking name? it up. No. What do you mean? You just know it. You looked at it and you saw exactly where everything was. No. That's how you know. So this yeah. is interesting because at this point, they show a bit of mutual respect for each other. As opposed to being these, these guys who are antagonistically opposed to each other for the entirety of the game. What? John. What was his name? What's his name? Very yeah, he well. said John. John. Oh, his name is Adamska. Which, um, name? if you think about it, at the beginning of the game, who are we supposed to meet? Mm. Adam. Adamska. Adam was one of the, um, the people who did the thing. Okay.